baby ain't gonna wait for me. Dittos. Oh, here we go. Mm. Oh, this is good. Oh, as you said, I'm too pretty to be a crackhead. <laughs> right. I'm gonna let her have that because she, she's not. Nah, but yeah, that's the point. You're not gonna look you. like that no more. Maybe this they have a crackhead app where she can go put her picture in and see how she would look. Maybe. That's Tasha. That's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gonna eat a little, drink a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? No, this ain't no click bait. What's up, y'all? Hey, guys, it's Steph. And Tasha, we back with another video. If you're new here, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the family. If you made before, welcome back. Baby, tell me what we got today, you guys. We are doing the seafood boil in the bag. And we got a viewer topic. Yeah. This viewer topic is from one of our really, really, really good OGB members, you guys. I'm not going to say her name. A lot of you guys know her, especially if you be on the lives well, and stuff. Well, damn, she don't want her business. She said that like she that. don't even have to be anonymous. Oh, but okay. I said, no, I'm going to keep you anonymous, but I'm going to let them know that it's somebody oh. close, you guys. Okay. All right. You ready? Yeah. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, we are back. So we have went to Krabby Crab again. Y'all know we've been liking this spot. Yes. I got um a combo with snow crab. I got king crab. The peeled shrimp with no dookie. Um. And corn. Oh, and potatoes. Okay. Mine has no sauce because I like to dip. I don't like it to just already be drenched, y'all. That. There's the king crab. Snow crab. We got some drenched corn here for Tasha. A bunch of sausage. Yeah, their sausage is really good, y'all. No. Uh, yeah. Outrageously. This wrong. is the first time that I've tried a crab place. Their sausage and the sausage is good. I mean, basically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I usually do, do not like their sausage. We took a break yesterday, y'all. No video. Sure did. It's our third day in January with no video. We I didn't video. even know we took a break until I woke up much. this morning and saw that there was no video. Oh. Okay, yeah. We took a break today. Well, we knew we took a break yesterday. Well, we, yeah. But you didn't know it was no video. Correct. No, I thought there was a video. Otherwise, I probably would have tried to push one out. Mm. Oh, I don't think I was feeling. This baby ain't gonna wait for me. Yes. What happened was, <clears throat> we was turning up on live, y'all, the night before. And we had to pay for it the next day. Sure did. It was worth it though. We had fun, except for me being too uh, open with y'all. I said a little bit too much. Uh, then people in the comments was like, "If you know, you bit. know." So I said a bit much. Yeah, but it is what well, it is. Well. She doesn't expose us, y'all. <coughs> they put. They must put that. Uh, those big chunks of pepper. What? No what? <clears throat> it's spicy. In their sauce. Mmm. Mm. This is really spicy. I'm hungry, y'all. And I got medium. But I guess. I want a volcano. You do? Where are the potatoes? Oh, here we go. Mm. Oh, this is good. Shrimp cano. Mm -mm -mm. We took a lot of our butter out. That's why it's pretty watery, y'all. And added uh, lemon. Mm -hmm. I did lemon juice and water. Did you, you did only lemon juice? Mm hmm. I ain't put no water in mine, y'all. I'm going to drink mm -hmm. my water. Mm -hmm. That's the water I'm going to have. I just got butter. Come on, lip. Oh, this one don't even want to mm. come out. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm. That sounded good. Mm. Mm. Okay. So good. My lips are so dry, y'all. So y'all this morning. Actually, yesterday, Tasha's last Christmas gift finally came. After, <clears throat> I think it was supposed to be here like two weeks ago, according to them. Maybe two or three weeks ago. Mm. It definitely was supposed to be here before Christmas. Um, but it wasn't. <clears throat> so it finally came. So I did a vlog surprising her. Mm -hmm. Putting that out today, too. Um, <laughs> well, it's just a struggle. It's a struggle being... But wanting to surprise a person that don't really care about stuff. Like, she don't care about materialistic stuff like that. But, I do know that you did want what it was. But nah, I was I, very happy. I know. But it's not like, oh my God, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
Like, mm -hmm. when I get stuff, I'll be like, oh, I'm so happy. I was happier than you were. Like, when I, on my part of the video, when I looked at the stuff, mm -hmm. <laughs> I was all extra excited. Like, like it was mine. Um, I've seen people cry over getting material gifts. And there's nothing wrong with it. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I don't. I've seen people cry over getting material things that they wanted. Right. Um, yeah, that's a lot. And the brat. She got her, uh, her wife gave her a, um, she cried over, what did she get? I don't know if she got a Range Rover or a Rolls Royce. I don't know oh, which one. Okay. She got one of them. She was crying. Damn. I think it's her fiance. I don't know if it's her wife, but same thing. Yeah, she cried like a baby. She must have really wanted it. I would cry if, I don't know, Stephanie got pregnant and had a baby. Mm -hmm. I would cry about that. I cried when I like, was born. type of stuff she would cry over. I cried at my wedding. I cried at his fifth grade graduation. Aww. I cried when people die. Um, that's about it. <laughs> I might cry when we get our house. I might. I don't know. I might. I, I feel might. like I'm so like anticipating it so much and mm -hmm. like it's been some work you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. being able to do it so i don't feel like that's necessarily materialistic though i feel like a house is it's an accomplishment i mean that's anything that you purchase that's that you wanted that you couldn't get before was an accomplishment yeah. mm -hmm. so that's what I, say. I don't care if people cry over stuff it may not be materialistic it may just be so something fun. else like oh my god i can't believe that i've come this far or you know something like that um, I realize that I cut you off a lot. It's okay. And it's not because I'm trying to over talk you. It's because I always, I agree. Or I want to, I gotta learn to stop doing that. I want to be a part of your conversation. <laughs> I got something to say. I gotta stop. No, but it's good though. I like to let you go because you'll forget. And then I'll be like, what are you gonna say? What are you gonna say? Mm-hmm. Ooh, this is so good, y'all. Mm -hmm. Where is that other potato at? Extremely. I, I got even two potatoes. Any, um, I ain't trying no muscle shit. Um, what's wrong with that? that? Your mouth already. <laughs> you can have it. Y'all want it? Ooh, the um, focus is low as heck. So Y'all seeing the food beautifully. Oh, really? We probably look a little blurry, but oh well. Oh, yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. They didn't even get to see you put it in your mouth because my hand was there. You don't care. Sorry, y'all. Mm. What else is going on? Um. Mm -hmm. So y'all, she said, "What else is going on?" And I just start um, just finding, yeah. figuring out something to say. I was asking you. Oh. What else is going on? Somebody mm -hmm. asked us to talk about the insurrection. No. The insurrection? That's the oh, the uh -huh. uh -uh. oh. I don't want to. No. I'm mm -hmm. so sick and tired. I don't feel like talking about it. Just go. Just leave. That's all I got to say. Bye. Take your people with you. Um, I want to tell y'all to go watch American Skin. It's gonna piss you off, but I was gonna say it's a good movie. Yeah, it's cool. I would do something similar to that. Was that the movie you was watching yesterday? Yep. It upset me, but <laughs> Stephanie don't watching. like watching movies that upsets her, which is understandable. She wants to be happy and not upset. Right. I watch that stuff every now and then, though, but... Yeah. I try to... Mm -mm. Stay away from it. I understand. No. Some people don't need to watch stuff like that. No. I'm some people. But I watch it anyway. And I have control. Today's topic is going to be about... Mm -hmm. Drugs, you guys. One of our... Lovely... Subscribers... Sent us a topic yesterday. We had no idea this was going on. And I said, yeah, we're going to talk about this tomorrow. Mm, 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 mm. I told Stephanie and she was like, she was mad a little bit. <laughs> like, oh, come on. I slapped her through the, um, through the DM though. <laughs> I did. So this is what she says. She said, I don't care if I remain anonymous or not because I'm going to need a lot of prayers. Mm. So I'm 25 years old. And on New Year's, my friend and I did Percocet. It gave me one of the best highs I've ever had in my life. 
it was only supposed to be a one and done thing, you know, but I ended up getting the plugs number and I've been getting them a lot more often now. Addiction runs in my family and I can already see where I'm headed. Mm -hmm. This just started on New Year's Day and I've had one Percocet every day since then. Ooh. Nothing makes me feel as good as they do. Mm -hmm. It also doesn't help that I have money, so no matter how expensive they are, I'm going to pay whatever to maintain my high. Mm. I found myself even considering hurting myself so I can go to the hospital to get a prescription. Oh, no. It's scary as hell. I didn't tell you that. Mm -hmm. It's scary as hell because I know this is a gateway drug, and I just pray for God's strength to help me stop now before it gets any worse. I would love some advice oh on God. this since y'all are like my virtual family. Mm -mm. She said, I can't become a crackhead. Y'all mm -mm. help me, please. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I didn't tell you that part. I think... I don't even want to say the majority, but I think a lot of people are relying on some type of drugs to escape reality. Especially Not all right the now. time, but yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, whatever. It's different levels of it. You got to be careful. It's very dangerous, you know what I'm saying? Because the feeling is good. Yeah. And especially now, it's like, it's not a lot to do. Mm hmm But you definitely don't want your body to become... Like, it can't function without that stuff. Because that's when it gets hard to stop. You only about two weeks in right now. Go ahead. <clears throat> and quit that shit. Cold turkey. Let yourself feel however you're going to feel. You're not going to feel anything right now. I don't think. After what she's going to feel is the desire to have it. That's it. You remember You remember she said she was going to even hurt herself? You know? yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Let your ass feel however you're going to feel. And don't get it. Don't do it. You have to force yourself to get off of that shit right now. You already know. You already know where it's going to lead to. Mm -hmm. You telling us. I almost said your name. Mm. You do not want to be a damn crackhead, okay? No. You don't want to be that. Because look, you just mentioned, oh, you, you, you got money, so it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Right now. You have a good job. Right now, you got money and a good job because you ain't really on it yet like that. You're not on that, on drugs like that and who knows like you said it, what it might lead to mm -hmm. it is a gateway drug because it's an opiate you know just like crack cocaine whatever um and then you're gonna slowly lose all your stuff mm -mm. no girl no no stop that shit now i don't know if she um lives alone or not mm -hmm. I don't either. Hopefully not. I mean, because I feel like it's easy to get over stuff with the help of or the presence of other people. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I, um, I, in my past, younger, around your age, because she's 25, um, I remember it's all up your chest. It's all good. Um, when my mother passed away, I happened to get an abscess in my throat at the same time. So I went to the hospital and so on. You already know I'm depressed. It was like two days after. I go to the hospital and I get um, Percocet because I was in so much pain. I was out of pain after like one or two days. But I feel like because I was going through what I was going through, I wanted, um, I enjoyed the feeling that it gave me because I just didn't care, you know? And, you know, I felt high or whatever, and I just was careless. I mean, I still cared, but I feel like it helped me, you know, get through that time. And so I took them all. I think I had like 14. I took all of them. I didn't need them anymore, but I kept taking them. And then I got more. Uh, and then I was just like, mm -mm, wait a minute, dude. What are you doing? Like, you got a child. Like, you can't do so because something might happen. You know, you might get addicted and then... Cause I don't think that you get addicted right away. No. I don't think the first two weeks, three weeks, month, two, you, you're addicted. You're you just, just doing like it because you lot. want to. Yeah, right. you like the feeling. Mm -hmm. But I had to think about the fact that I had a child. I had a life that I didn't want to turn into, you know, something else. My father was a very addictive person. He was on meth for years, uh, many years. And um, I knew or I believe that I have that kind of personality as well if I allowed it. But you got to think about the other things in your life that makes you not. Like, I think, I won't say I think if I didn't have a kid, I would have done it. Probably not. That was just my excuse not to do it. Like, oh, I got a kid, so I can't be on drugs. You know, I can't do these things. I got to take care of my kid. 
You got to think about your life. Think about your job. Exactly. And what you are going to accomplish. You already at 25 are accomplishing a lot. You got, she just graduated from college. Girl, no. <clears throat> you know. That's what I was going to say. I was going to say, um, think about how you're living right now. For, it's a free life. I mean, when you're not on drugs, you are in control of yourself. Yes, you're You free. know what I'm saying? You can do all kind of stuff. Anything you want to do. When mm -hmm. you get on drugs, your whole life is going to be about that. Yep. You know, and how every day when you wake up. How can I get some more drugs? Do you want to live like that? No. Mm -hmm. Hell no. And then, um, you're not really going to want to do anything besides that. Exactly. Uh, yep. You are not going to want to, you, you don't, you're going to enjoy getting high so much, you're not going to want a boyfriend, because you, your, boy, your drug is going to be a boyfriend. You're not going to want kids, your kids are going to be that drug. Well, unless he on drugs too. And, and that's going to make it worse. On Ooh. the streets. Yeah. Smoking mm -mm. Percocet, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, you gotta stop. And the only person that can stop you is you. Stop it now. Um, <clears throat> it's best to go call turkey because like, like we said, you're not addicted like that. I need to go wash my hands. Okay. This is just annoying me. Now that I'm up, I'm eating. <laughs> right. Now that you're done making a mess. Right. I'm like, ugh. Oh shit, that was so good. You definitely don't want to, um, that's why, get pregnant one day, you over here addicted to perk, Ooh, yeah. and then you hurt your baby. Mm -hmm. Think about I everything you smoke, want with your life. I used to smoke weed every day, every single day, I think, pretty much, until I had, um, until I decided I wanted to get pregnant, mm -hmm. and then I stopped. So weed and cigarettes. That was my motivation. You need to find your motivation if you can't just do it like on your own. You need to find your reason why. And it could be your good job and your money that you're not going to have if you keep doing this. Think about what you want for your future and your life because it ain't going to happen if you get addicted to some drugs. Mm -mm. Who knows what type of drugs you might lead to and all that. Uh-uh. No. None of that's going to happen. Mm -mm. Okay? I want people who have been addicted or who have known people who have been addicted to pills or who have taken pills or whatever to talk to her in the comments. Y'all know her, trust me. So, especially the ones that really be on, y'all know her. Okay. Tell her what she needs to do. Because we're not drug counselors. We don't know about that. Mm -hmm. What you're going to look like. Oh, and she said, I'm too pretty to be a crackhead. <laughs> right. I'm going to let her have that. She, she, nah, but yeah, that's the point. You're not gonna look you. like that no more. <laughs> right. And I'm telling them, oh, maybe they have a crackhead app where she can go put her picture in and see how she would look. Maybe. We need to find, <laughs> maybe, maybe we can make one. <laughs> crackhead app. But let me tell you something about a friend of mine that um, did Percocet a lot. Or Vicodin. Same thing. She had a heart attack at 20, I think 27, 28 years old because she pops Vicodin. That's my point. Ooh. Ooh. This shit leaking all over your Fuck. Shit on the damn. Okay, y'all. If y'all like the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment, let me know what you guys think. Please subscribe to the vlog channel. The link is in the description below. Make sure you set your post notifications all so you don't miss any of our daily uploads, live streams, or premieres. And until next time, only good vibes. Peace. Peace. We got an emergency situation over here. Bye.